Hello and welcome back MTG Bridgeting fans. Here we are with another video and today's video is going to be a pretty simple little product opening. Let's take a few moments to take a look and unbox a Commander Legends pre-constructed deck. This one is going to be Reap the Tithe and we are going to crack this baby open and feast on the goodness inside. <laughs> All right, hello fans of MTG Burgeoning and fans of all things magic. Today we are going to crack open this pre-constructed Commander Legends Commander deck. It's a Simic deck called Reap the Tithe. And for anyone who may be unfamiliar with these Commander decks, they started releasing set-specific Commander decks back with the release of Ikoria. And since Ikoria's time, of course, skipping over Core 2021, we saw them in Zendikar Rising, and we saw them in Commander Legends, and of course we're going to see them in Kaldheim. And in today's video, we are just going to open this up. I mean, I'm not overly familiar with everything that's in this pre-constructed deck. I know that the commander itself is a pretty awesome commander, one that I actually plan to take and add into my Yarok the Desecrated Commander deck. Let's see what we got in here. We have one cardboard deck box. All right, I suppose I could hold a deck. I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be able to double sleeve that, but all right. It's a deck. It'll work. It's got Reap the Tide on it, so that's pretty nice. These things are actually pretty cool. These little slide, these life counters. I like them. They're pretty good. And a Learn to Play Commander little guide. So that's pretty cool. Now let's take the real reason why we're here. Whoa! Okay, easy there. And here comes our commander. And look at that. Right out of the box. Oh boy. There is some warping to it. I mean, I suppose that is to be expected, unfortunately. The foiling itself, it's a little little washed out. It's a little dark. But the curl. Ah. Oh well, what can you do, right? I guess it's something that we just as magic players have to get used to, which is pretty unfortunate. So let's take a look at the reprints. I know in each one of these set commander decks, there are three new cards, one of which is IEC, Tyrant of Gyre Straits. You know, to get a quick look at it, it's four green and a blue for a 5-5 five, five serpent. And we may play an additional land on each of our turns, or whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, we may draw a card. So this is a this is a legendary creature that takes Exploration and Tatiova Benthic Druid and combines them into a 5-5 five, five Serpent. So that is pretty awesome. And like I said earlier, I do plan to include that card in the 99 of my Yarok the Desecrated deck. So let's peel back the plastic here. Let's take a look at these cards. Now, I really think, and I've always thought this, all the way back to the original releasing of Commander back in 2011, the original Commander product, that it's always a great idea to buy these decks at pre-release pricing or flash pricing, however that you, however way you can get them at their cheapest. It's a great way to build the collection. There's always good reprints. Some of the new cards in there they end up becoming more valuable than what you paid for the deck. So I am always a proponent in buying nearly always the pre-constructed commander decks. All right, so we got an Arcane Signet, which is a nice counterspell if you like to play counterspell. We got some commons here, Compulsive Research, another counterspell. Ah, Factor Fiction. Love when they reprinted that in Modern Horizons. Into the Royal, that's a Zendikar original. Another Zendikar original of Ior Ruin Expedition. Oh, of course... The Maul Drifter. You can't have a blue commander deck without Maul Drifter, I suppose. All right, Peel from Reality. Ooh, okay, here's Slin Vote. I believe this was originally printed in Dominaria. It's a Leviathan. There's our Acidic Slime for the removal. The removal of a target land artifact. Target artifact, enchantment or land. Oh, Beast Within. In my collection, I can't have 
enough copies of Beast Within. Whenever I go to make any commander deck, if green goes in there, one of the first cards I'm looking for is a Beast Within. So I love that it's reprinted in this deck. I can't get enough copies of this. And there's another card, Cultivates. This is one of the most played cards in the entire format. Same thing with the Eternal Witness. Man, those are some great reprints already in this deck. All right, Explore. Okay, draw a card, play an additional land. Harmonize. Draw three cards on two and two green. Back to original Zendikar with Call Me Heart Expedition and the Landfall mechanic. You get at least three quest counters on this bad boy, and then you remove the quest counters, you sacrifice it, and you search your library for a couple of basics and put them into play tapped. It's like a um, a paused... not can't even really call it a, a Harrow or a Roiling Regrowth because we're not sacrificing any lands to do so. There's the Kodama's Reach with the new artwork from, oh, what was that from? Was it from Ultimate Masters? No, it was, yeah, I think it was Ultimate Masters. All right, Rampant Growth, of course. The Rex Sage for some more removal. Retreat to Kazandu. That's a great landfall enchantment. Search for Tomorrow. Oh, sweet. That's an awesome card. Turn one, love to play that for a green. Excellent, Search for Tomorrow. There's another landfall, Spore Mound. The Wicker Bow Elder. Boy, the did it go many, many years past before this card received a reprint. And this is this is underplayed for what it does. I mean, it's three and a green, and it comes into play with a four-four. It ends up with a one-one with a minus one, minus one counter, but you can tap a green and remove that counter to destroy an artifact or enchantment. If you are playing with a specific minus one, minus one counter deck, like maybe a Wither deck or something like that. You can get multiple minus one, minus one counters on there. Of course, not more than three. You don't want the creature to die. And then you're just tapping a green to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Wicker Bow, or Wicker Bow Elder is awesome. Yavi Maya Elder. Yep, okay. Coiling Oracle. That's another great reprint. Growth Spiral. Man, wasn't that a powerhouse in standard before it finally got banned? Oh, yes, a Shark Doe Crab. You can't have a Simic deck without a shark octopus crab. <laughs> Simic charm, a great charm. Oh, I love this charm. Hexproof for permanence, bounce a creature, plus three, plus three, another creature. Great, urban evolution. I mean, this, this deck has some great reprints. Trench Behemoth is one of the new, one of the three new cards in this deck. It's a seven, seven Kraken for five and two blue. We can return a land we control to its owner's hand and we can untap Trench Behemoth and it gains Hexproof until end of turn. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, target creature and opponent controls attacks during its controller's next combat phase if able. All right, pretty good trench behemoth. I'm going to put this one right over here as it's one of the new cards. And this is the other new card in the deck, the Stump Squall Hydra X and Triple Green. When it enters the battlefield, distribute X plus one plus one counters among it and any number of commanders. All right, pretty good. All right, we got an Eldritch Moon card here with Elder Deep Fiend with the Emerge Mechanics. Pretty good. Oh, Miloku is in this deck. I didn't even know that. Holy mackerel. Wow, this deck is um, this deck has some amazing cards in it. Holy mackerel. Nezahal from Rivals of Ixalan. Scourge of Fleets. Shipbreaker Kraken with the monstrosity ability, the Sphinx of Uthun. Look at us, just rare after rare. Holy, Stormtide Leviathan is in this? Wow. Trumocratus, all kinds of creatures from under the sea. Whelming Wave. I play this with great zeal in my quest for Ula's Temple Mono Blue deck. Oh, Avenger of Zendikar is in this deck? Are you serious? This is like one of the best green creatures in all of Commander. Wow, this deck is a... This, dude, if you didn't buy this deck, get it now. The reprints are unbelievable. Malimo is in here. Rampaging Baylos are in this, is in this deck too? The Ramunap Excavator? Are you kidding me? Avengers... Wow! I can't believe this deck was like $14. Terastodon? Prudent Sun's Avatar, Fathom Mage, Merc Fiend Liege is in here too. Cynic Sky Swallower. Sp look at the look at all the rares in this deck. Spitting Image, Seer Sundial, 
Meteor Golem, Simic Signet, Never Sleep on the Signet, Soul Ring, of course. You have to have a Soul Ring. Swiftfoot Boots is in here, too? Wow, are those all of the spells? Holy mackerel, that is amazing. Wow, I would I would definitely recommend getting this deck. Whoa, I can't believe the cards that are in this deck. All right, let's take a quick look at this mana base here. Blighted Woodland, of course, there's our Command Tower. And we got a tap land that we have to sacrifice it unless we return an untapped island, but then it taps for a colorless or a blue. Evolving Wilds for probably the 600th time. Jungle Basin is the green version of that blue land. Memorial to Genius. Reliquary Towers in here too? Wow! Simic Growth Chamber, Simic Guildgate, Terramorphic Expanse for the 600th time. Thornwood Falls, Vivid Creek, Vivid Grove, Woodland Stream. Ola forests and islands. Let's check out the tokens. I'm a fan of tokens. Beast and an elephant. Beast and an elephant. Probably just more beasts and elephants. That's a four and a four four and a three three. Illusion. Oh, the plant tokens. Of course, for the Avenger of Zendikar. Love that guy. Love the Avenger of Zendikar. Illusion, illusion. The copy tokens, Saperling, more Saperling. Wow, this deck is just an awesome addition. Fans, if, you, if you've got like 15, 17 bucks, whatever this deck cost, we have to pick this up. Look at all of the rares in this deck. Avenger of Zendikar, Ramunap, Excavator. This is an amazing deck, folks. This is MTG Burgeoning, and I'm going to be honest. I am more than happy to have picked up this deck at pre-release. Wow. I, don't, I wonder how much it costs right now, because it might be worth picking up even more of them. All right, folks, MTG Burgeoning with the product opening. We opened up Reap the Tides Pre-Constructed Commander Legends Commander Deck. Tell me what you thought of the cards in this deck in the comment section below. Because I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, that was an amazing deck of cards.